snakes and adders. We're continuing the introducing series this week by talking about milk snakes. Uh, milk snakes are fantastic snakes. They're lovely and tame, moderate in size, great temperaments and excellent feeders. Uh, there's five species that you usually come across. There's the Honduran milk snake, Puebloan milk snake, Sinaloan milk snake, Nelson's milk snake and Mexican milk snake. So they're spread throughout Central America. They are related to the king snakes and they're from the same family. The family is called Lampipeltis. Their second name on all the milks is Triangulum. And then we've got the subspecies from that. So this guy who's a Honduran, he's called Hondurensis. Nelson I is Nelson's. Anulata is Mexican. Campelli is Pueblan and Sinaloa is Sinaloa. They're all moderate size, maybe anything from three and a half to five and a half feet. The Honduran's the biggest, he'll reach about five and a half feet in length, and their care is pretty much universal. We're going to give them between a two and a half and four foot bib, depending obviously the species that we're going to keep. Uh, we're going to give them a basking area of around 30 degrees, cool end of about 24. They can cool down at night at the hot end to about 24 degrees. To be able to breed them successfully, because they're montane snakes, we are going to have to brew and brumate them and cool them right down to get some fertile eggs. Sperm count and egg production and overproduction are reliant upon this brumation period. If you do it without, you may find that you have infertile litters. They're widespread within the hobby and they're bred in a number of different colours. This guy is an anathristic. So anathrism is where the red pigment has been removed, which is why he appears to be black, grey and white. Normally they're coloured red, red, white and black or red, yellow and black, arranged in rings around their body. And they're actually one of nature's awesome stories. They are a mimic. They copy venomous snakes called coral snakes, which belong to the alapid family, which contains the cobras, crates and taipans. So the birds and predators know not to have a go at a coral snake because potentially they're going to come off worse. And the milk snakes capitalise on that by copying them. Over time, we found that there's genes that can be exposed, such as the anathristic gene, and they're bred for the pet hobby, and they come in a range of different colours, whether that be hypo, albino, anathristic, ghost, and then they, there's certain morphs with the patterns now as well. As babies, they can sometimes be a little nervous. You might find that they even wee on you when they're being held just because they're so scared, but they quickly grow out of this and become totally tame. They're absolutely fantastic. They're specialist reptile feeders in nature, and therefore they've only got little heads, because the things that they have have only got very small pelvises or no pelvises at all, as they're quite partial to snakes. Um, so a milk snake, even at this size, at five feet, is still only on large mice. Because his head's so small, he might not be able to fit a wiener rat down his neck. So a corn snake the same length as this would have a head 20-30% longer, therefore we'll probably happily take the wiener rats with no issue. They're egg layers, they have medium sized litters, probably 15, 18 eggs. They hatch it probably 55 to 65 days, incubated at about 28 and a half degrees. Um, honestly, you can't really go wrong with milks. Same as the kings, they're bomb proof because of their range of temperatures that they're alive from, including their brumation temperature, they're incredibly hardy. And we're not gonna suffer with the respiratory illnesses that are so common with boas and pythons. As always, we, we're talking for beginners, so um, you know we want them in a viv. Uh, as youngsters, we can use heat pads, certainly in the nursery box. And then really for these bigger ones, we want to be moving on to bulbs with dimmer stats as they're a much more efficient way of heating the volume of the tank. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the videos. Look them up, Lampropeltis Triangulum. Uh, keep watching the videos. We're working through the groups. Soon we're going to have completed our guide to beginner snakes and then we're going to begin our journey through beginner lizards. Maybe if you keep the group of snakes we've been discussing, give the video a share, see if we can spread the word, spread some knowledge about these awesome animals. Uh, visit the website www.snakesandadders.co.uk or ring the shop on 0114 265 8299 to see what we're all about. Cheers.